So you're wondering what an NFT is, everybody and their mother is talking about it. So we have one right here, it's uh, the spinning Bitcoin 80s themed logo and yeah, that's an NFT, it's the first one I've ever created actually. Then you can go to this website, you can go to this website in the description down below and you can just right click and save it as a JPEG file and yeah, it's free like that, so, <laughs> but no, NFTs don't work like that. But that's what everybody thinks. That's the first question I always get. I, I can just download it for free. Why would I pay for it? <laughs> well, let me explain. Also, there will be a video showing exactly how to create your first NFT. And if that's something you're interested in, definitely be sure to subscribe. And <laughs> I don't know what that was. NFTs stand for non-fungible tokens. For example, the US dollar is a fungible token, which means you can change it to, for example, the euro which makes it fungible. But your birth certificate, no, that's non-fungible. You can't exchange your birth certificate for euros. Maybe you can on a black market, but it doesn't work like that. So it is non-fungible. Same goes for NFTs. They're non-fungible tokens, which means they're unique. One out of one gives them value. How do they become unique? Well, if you want to learn more about the technical side of things, I would definitely recommend reading this article on Medium I wrote, it's in the description down below as well. So how does something digital like that token, whatever that represents, become non-fungible? What is a blockchain? You probably have so many questions right now, but even people who are into crypto and know blockchain and know what it is have a difficult time getting into NFTs. Now for right now, NFTs are collectibles sold in forms of art, music, or really any file, but they have such a good implementation, it's insane. So your birth certificate, we were talking about it, it's non-fungible, right? And so are NFTs. So imagine one day in the future, you can have your birth certificate and your ID card or driver's license all on the blockchain, on one app, showing, proving their legitimacy. So many applications can be created with that, it's totally insane. So the process of creating NFTs is called minting. You mint an NFT onto the blockchain. Now, in non-technical terms, really what you're doing is uploading your file and then paying a small fee for the miners that then use their graphics cards to write whatever you want it to be written onto the blockchain, which in this case is our digital art in a form of a GIF or GIF. Who says GIF, man? It's a GIF. All right, let's create a comment war. GIF or GIF? Let me know down below. So now you probably understood in very simple words what mining is, uh, how miners earn fees, and they pretty much earn fees like that for every single transaction you pay the miners a fee for completing that transaction and writing it down on the blockchain. Once a transaction is written down on the blockchain, it stays there forever. Same goes for all the images that you mint onto the blockchain. They stay there forever and they cannot be tampered with. In order to tamper with something that's written on blockchain, you would have to tamper not just with that one file, you would have to tamper with everything from the first file all the way to the very last one on the whole blockchain. And if you just mess this one file up, all the other ones will notice and not let you do it. And that whole process makes everything decentralized. Basically, that's how blockchain works. So now you know what an NFT is. Very, very simply explained. Obviously, if you go into the technical details, it gets way more in depth, but using simple words to explain stuff like this is how it should be. None of this is super complicated, and I want everyone to be into crypto. I want everyone to join in on the NFTs. So if you have music to share, if you're an artist of any kind, especially like a 3D artist, a modeler, whatever, you can use the platform of NFTs for selling your art and actually earning money if you're good at it. Or if you have money and you're a collector, it's very good owning some of these NFTs. <laughs> like this one in the description down below, be sure to check out my NFTs. Some people also call them nifties. I don't know what to think about that. It's pretty cool. Get your own nifty. NFT, non-fungible token. But yeah, welcome to the world of blockchain. So thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye and stay awesome.